everyone, welcome back to another Food Friday. And today I'm in Torrance, California, which is kind of close to Los Angeles, California. But today I'm at Miyavi Uni, which is a restaurant dedicated to sea urchin or uni. And they have a lot of really exciting dishes. The moment I saw the photos from this restaurant, I knew I had to try it. And I knew I had to do a Food Friday on it because I'm an uni lover. So with that, let's go ahead and head inside and check it out. All right, everyone, so we're first starting off with the Miyavi uni shooters, which consists of uni, flying fish roe egg, and raw quail egg. Now, I've never had raw egg in general, so this is going to be my first raw egg, but it's also going to be a raw quail egg, so oh, this is going to be a big spoonful, but let's go. That. Wow, okay, raw egg is really, really, really good. Super creamy. Complements the uni really well. The uni is so fresh, sweet, decadent. You get those tiny little bits of the flying fish roe egg, which is great because it really separates all like the swooshy textures. But wow, that was so good. What a way to start. All right, so next I have the Miyavi oysters, which is basically like an oyster shooter. It has the oyster at the bottom, uni, salmon roe, gold flakes, and a little bit of a different type of fish roe. But oh my God, this is like, Oh my gosh, it smells so fresh. It smells like seafood, obviously. But, okay, oh my god, this is so big, but this is gonna be like a heavenly bite of deliciousness because this is literally all stuff that I love in one beautiful bite, so. It's heaven. It's literally everything I love in one bite. Super creamy oyster, creamy uni, salty fish roe eggs. Oh my god, I don't want this taste to ever leave my mouth. Oh my gosh, and everything is so clean. The oyster has no grit, no like icky bad oyster taste to it. Everything is wow, 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 wow. I really just want to sit here because I don't want this taste to leave my mouth at all. All right, look at this beautiful masterpiece. So many beautiful colors, textures going on. And this is the Mirabi Kaisen, which is basically like their rice and various mixed seafood bowl. We have tamago, uni, salmon, tuna. Looks like yellowtail belly, I think that's toro there, squid, ikara, scallop, so many different things going on here. So I don't even know how to start, but it was so difficult. Well, I haven't tried a piece of fish yet, so let's go ahead and do that for you all. This looks, this looks like toro, so that's toro. It's literally just disintegrating in my mouth in the best way possible. Mmm. And then let's see. Ooh, I love that sushi rice down here. Mm, it's like you're eating a big thing of sushi. This is awesome. We have the squid. Super crunchy and flavorful. It's a piece of this Hokkaido scallop. This is literally any sushi lover's paradise in a bowl, basically. Oh my goodness. Everything's super fresh, clean, really good quality. I just had half of this bite of uni and I need to do this again so I can see this on camera because wow. That is honestly in the top five experiences of times I've had uni. Like that uni in this bowl is so incredibly delicious and creamy and sweet. It almost rivals the time that Kelvin and I had raw or like obviously it's raw but like live sea urchin like on the Santa Barbara Pier like broken up. Like it's that good but i think it might be even better because it's so creamy the other one was more sweet but this is like so decadent and rich like wow 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 and as if you know raw uni isn't enough they made a uni pasta dish now i've had uni like udon before but not necessarily pasta before so i'm really excited this is a uni cream sauce and you can see the color is gorgeous you know they put a lot of uni in there all right i'm trying to pull some of this up here Ah, all right. The uni flavor is so much lighter than I thought it'd be, especially since I've had so much uni in the last couple minutes. Like, I thought it was gonna be really overwhelming, but it's like the slightest, tiniest little bit of uni. Like, honestly, you probably couldn't even tell this was uni if you were like blindfolded and you didn't see the color. It's a super light, subtle flavor. And this is a big piece of uni. Oh my gosh, let's get a bite of this. Mm. It's like baked uni, so it's super, super warm. And it's even softer than it normally is, which is crazy. Wow. Super, super yummy. The pasta's good. Nothing too unique about the noodles itself, but overall, good dish. 
Okay, so we finished our meal, but we looked back at their special, which changes daily. So they have different specials here every single day, and they had $1 oysters, so we couldn't resist. So we got a dozen of them, and they look amazing. So let's go. These small oysters are always the sweetest and the creamiest. Mm. More seafood heaven. All right, everyone, and to finish off this meal, uni ice cream. I really don't know how I feel about this. Like, we'll, we'll, let's, let's try it. Let's see, it looks really pretty. Let's get a nice scoop. It's really creamy. It doesn't smell like uni, it smells like ice cream. Oh my God, I taste the uni. Oh my God, it's like super, super subtle uni. Very, very sweet. And there's like a sesame aspect to it. Oh my God, I just got savory. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm really confused right now. Like, it's savory yet sweet and like kind of coconutty yet uni yet sesame-like. Definitely unique. And the thing is, if you think about it, it's gross because <laughs> it's like uni ice cream. But when you're tasting it, it doesn't taste bad at all to me. Like it tastes like a sesame coconut ice cream with a twist. But if you didn't tell me what that twist was, I'd be a little confused. There's almost like a salt caramel aspect to it. Like the uni at the end, you get a little savoriness. It's kind of like salted caramel. Wow. All right, so we're finishing the meal off with some hot tea, but the experience here at Miyabi Uni was definitely unique. It's definitely one of a kind, and it's definitely a place for uni lovers. If you love uni, you have to check out this place because they have so many innovative dishes, like the uni ice cream, which is surprisingly really, really good. Yeah, overall, if you're an uni lover, you need to try Miyabi Uni at least once in your life. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this week's Food Friday, and I will talk to you all in a future video. Bye. Mwah.